So you got a problem. You're on the job and you got to finish this weld by the end of the day and you're all out of rods. If you don't finish this weld by the end of the day, then your butt's going straight back to LinkedIn or Indeed. So here's a solution. We're going to go down to Walmart and find some items that you can replace your welding rods with. Yeah, so I was out in the oil field one day running a pipeline. We ran out of rod. Luckily, we have raging Red Bull addiction. So uh, we got all the cans out of the back of the truck and we were able to piece together the rest of that line. Perfect, we have a coating. These are gonna be awesome. Man, everything here is plastic. Kids have it so easy these days. Oh, there we go. Let it rip. We need the skewers. These things are gonna be perfect. All right, and just to prove that I wasn't lying about the Red Bull cans and Monster cans. So we just got out of Walmart, we got all of our stuff, and we're ready to go see what kind of welds we can make. With the items we got from the store today, we're going to put a bead on this plate, and we're gonna see which of the four items is going to weld the best. Today we're working with Beyblades, barbecue skewers, pliers, and Monster Energy. All right, so everybody knows that when you're welding with Thanos, the Beyblade, you need to take all the plastic pieces off because the plastic will just glob and won't help you melt the metal. Pretty simple to deconstruct. That'll work just fine. Now, one thing to note about Beyblades is that they're made in Vietnam and some jobs require that you use only domestic materials. So you need to make sure that you're not using a Beyblade on a project that's for the State Department or somebody who requires domestic materials when you're using a Beyblade to weld with. Because the Beyblade is die cast, it requires quite a bit of temperature. So we're gonna turn this thing up to 120. At 120, with this shape, we should get ourselves a nice half inch or so of beautiful weld. Die cast materials are subject to porosity, so we can expect some of that. And all right, let's get the ventilation turned on and see how this thing welds. Three, two, one, let it rip. The Beyblade was not a success. I'm surprised to say that we were completely unable to weld with it. Do not try that, it doesn't work. <laughs> so up next we have this barbecue skewers. These are made out of high quality stainless. I actually think we are probably gonna lay down a little bit of metal with these. We're gonna turn down to 90. Seems like a more appropriate heat for a barbecue skewer. Fire in the hole. Hope we don't overcook it. Awesome, that was super successful. We were able to lay down a little bit of a bead. Didn't look like we got very much penetration, but I think it would hold water. Up next, one of my personal favorites for when you run out of welding rod, the needle nose pliers. These are awesome because you can clamp onto one side and make two welds at once if you need. We have it turned up to 150 because this is pretty thick. Hopefully this rubber coating on the handle acts kind of like a flux and we're able to get a pretty nice bead with these. So I like to always clamp the needle nose pliers by the pliers end. I'm gonna keep this one out of the way for this time. I just have to nick this end with the rubber on it to expose some of the end of this welding rod here. That's what the end of the pliers needs to look like before you get started. All right, let's get started and see if these can get you out of a pinch. Okay, we're definitely gonna need a little bit more heat for this one. Okay, now we have our ESOB ES300i maxed out at 200 amps, and our welding rod is ready to relight, and uh, let's get started. Disgusting, rancid. We were able to get a little bit of a weld, so not a complete failure, definitely not a complete success either. As I mentioned before, we had to use energy drink cans to get us out of a bind out in the oil field on a pipeline. And I wouldn't lie to you guys, this is definitely going to hold a lot of pressure on the pipeline. But we can't weld with a full can, so. Due to the thin wall of this monster can, we're gonna have to condense it. So we're gonna have to crinkle it up a little bit. 
so we can get our stinger on it and that we can actually get some weld metal out of it. There we go. That thing is super ready to make really nice welds. 200 is going to be a bit hot. We're going to bring the machine down to 85 amps, which seems a little bit more reasonable for this material. There's a good spot to clamp it. And as the saying goes, Red Bull gives you wings and Monster gives you welds. There it is, solid pipeline weld. Went a little different out in the field. Probably could recreate it if I tried hard enough in here. I promise I'm telling the truth about that story. Got a little bonus for you guys. As we're leaving the store, we ran into this credit card laying on the floor. Sorry to the owner of this card, but you're gonna need to get a new one after this. So whenever I weld with the credit card, I like to uh, clamp onto the chip area. That way I know that I'm getting some good conductivity throughout the card. All right, let's see if we can insert a weld right here. Quick ranking here. So the credit card here, it's got a little bit of metal on the plate, a couple little BBs. We're gonna put that one in third place. Up next, we have the bay blade. It did definitely mark up the plate a little bit. Just left a little bit of smoky residue and some arc marks on the plate. It's definitely getting the last place, fifth place. Up next, we have the barbecue skewer. I'm actually pretty impressed with how this thing welded. I doubt that there's anything solid in there, but it did lay down a bead of some sort. This one definitely did the best and it's going in first place. Right next to it here, we have the pliers. I expected them to do a little bit better. I'm kind of disappointed in them. They definitely did second best, so this one's going in second place. And last but not least, we have the monster can. It's obviously made out of aluminum, so all it did was glob up some little BBs that you can move around. This one's going in fourth place. So there you have it, our first Will It Weld YouTube video. Let us know in the comments what welds you think were best, and what items do you want to see us weld in the future. And I'll see you next time.